after the pandemic, I just kind of noticed my body, my nervous system, my body, like everything collapsed because I had been working from home and I was raising my kids from uh, doing homeschool and I was struggling in my marriage. So all those stressors came together and kind of like, push, it erupted. So I started having severe panic attacks to the point where I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't go to Walmart. Um, Severe anxiety. I couldn't sleep. I will feel like burning sensations in my body at the bottom of my feet, just like these really weird symptoms. Um, And I would check myself into the hospital. I would go to different doctors and they would all tell me, but your blood work is fine. Your tests are all okay. I think it's all in your mind. And I'm like, I can't my mind is capable of making me feel this way um right. so certainly working against me not for me um so i was having severe anxiety severe panic attacks um yeah i was feeling depressed things that i re- regularly do like get my nails done dye my hair get up shower it, it, it was just like everything was difficult unfortunately a common story and a lot of a lot of anxiety symptoms and, and g- generally speaking, psychiatric neurological symptoms are not going to show up on a blood test or even an MRI. So mm-hmm. people are dismissed, unfortunately, and it can be extremely fatal. I mean, I think you even considered you had thoughts of self-harm at some point. Is that right? Yes. Unfortunately, looking back now that I'm okay, I, I just feel terrible about having these, um, thoughts these thoughts that were constantly in my head rumination Mm -hmm. I wouldn't I never took the act but there was just a a lot of ruminating aggressive negative thoughts that ruined my day like kill yourself or do this or do that I underwent uh, what we call an accelerated TMS program this was uh, developed uh, originally in Stanford and uh, what they did is uh, use TMS technology to treat patients in your state in a matter of five days instead of the usual 30. Uh, tell me about your experience with that treatment. What was it? What did you anticipate and what it was the reality? I was, it, it was like, if I can describe it, it was like my brain was um, put together again or it was refreshed. I was back to myself. Same, the same Maria, bubbly, going out, running errands, working, racing your kids. You know, I, I was just in shock and disbelief, really, that within three or four days, like my life was changed. Okay. All my family so, cried. They cried, but they were happy tears. They knew that this fight was finally over with. Uh-huh. And they were very thankful to you, your team, and the TMS treatment. And, you know, if I have to do it again, I'll do it again. I have your contact in, in yeah. my contacts and I know who to call if I ever run into an issue like this again. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. This, how, lo- how long after the last session did you feel like it really kicked in? Was it that same day, the day after, or did you feel even better like a week or so afterwards? I would say I felt 100% back to myself about a week later. Uh-huh. I I hairdresser. I know. I think we had a follow up appointment, and I was getting my hair. And that's right. Right there, that I was. I was okay. You know, I'm. I'm living life in peace. Um, There's no rumination going on. I don't feel sad for no reason. I'm okay. I'm safe. And I'm still dealing with a lot of stress. I have stressors in my life, but I just handle it better. Yeah. Try to get my life back after all, all that fight and all those providers that I went to go. I don't want to cry, but it's very emotional for me because my mom, out of everyone, was so worried. A doctor, she was so afraid that at any time I could attempt against my own life. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I, I would tell her, I would tell her how I felt, right. and right. that's excellent. She, By the way, said, are you taking any medications at the at the moment? No, it's a miracle. I'm not on anything but just natural uh, supplements. So you're not taking Zoloft, you're not taking clonazepam, you're not taking anything. Nothing. That's awful. That's, all, that's like incredible. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually even more impressed now uh, having seen you. This is like almost three or four weeks later, at least. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And you're still bright eyed, bushy tail with uh, 
uh, new look and a new life, it sounds like. So um, you have a beautiful smile. Any lasting words, anything else you want to tell people? I just want to say that it's been a pleasure. You are a delight to deal with your staff. I love the girl and your office, absolutely everything. I mean, I'm so happy. And I just want to say uh, from heart to heart to anyone that's experiencing these symptoms to not wait and to seek the help that they need and not, not to be afraid. Thank you.